Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Deloitte So the Tennessee Titans made a splash in free agency already. And many of you guys know I am a Titans fan, also a Raiders fan, just because I live in Vegas and the Raiders got, you know, they moved to Vegas. So just me being a homer, I, I kind of, you know, by default, like the Raiders a little bit. But the team that I grew up loving, the team that's always going to be number one in my heart is the Tennessee Titans. Titans. Now, going into the offseason, it was really a debate, right? Were the Titans going to get rid of Derrick Henry? It looked like all signs were pointing towards Derrick Henry would leave, which means we will only have Ty J Spears. Now, I love Ty J Spears. I think he's a dog. But the reason why he fell in the draft is because of injury history. And the reason why I felt the Titans needed to go get another running back was because of that same injury history now Ty J Spears made it through the season perfectly okay had a good year I thought he was a better running back at the end of the season than Derrick Henry was now we do know the Titans have probably the worst offensive line in football so it was tough really for Derrick Henry to get going so a player like Ty J Spears who was a little bit more dynamic definitely made sense but he has two ACL tears on the same knee he also had a meniscus tear also on that same knee so just looking at it you will say i probably can't trust that player right to play long long term and i think that's exactly what the titans are kind of thinking in the situation right just because you don't know when that's going to happen again when he will get hurt again um hopefully it does not happen but you need to insurance right and getting a guy like tony pollard i think makes sense for a few reasons one he played college football in memphis so he's already used to being in the state of tennessee but he had that running back by committee with ezekiel elliott and you will probably argue he was most effective in a committee with ezekiel elliott when he was the number one guy last season it wasn't it was a little bit of a disappointing year right but he is a player that is a home run threat he may not be the guy that needs 250 carries a season, but say you get that number to 175 to 200. Now looking at Ty J Spears uh, bump up in carries, say he's getting 125 to 150. I think that is kind of the split that you will want out of these two running backs. Hopefully they both stay healthy and they're both dynamic enough where it makes sense. So I see people saying that you don't pay running backs in free agency. I think that is true to a certain extent but three years 24 million dollars coming out to eight million a year i don't think that's a bad price maybe season three when he's going into you know age 29 it could be an issue but eight million dollars a year tajay spears making what 1.2 million a year so you have your running backs under 10 million dollars i think are combined right i think that's a good value i think that's a good value and i'm excited to see what Brian Callahan could do with this offense. Obviously, this indicates based off the type of player Tony Pollard is and the type of runner um, Ty J Spears is, it, we're going in a different philosophy, right? It's not the big bruising running back that we've seen um, from Derrick Henry, even before with DeMarco Murray, right? We're going in a little bit of a different direction, and I'm excited. I'm definitely excited to see um, how this Titans team um, comes out at the end of the day, right? I think in the draft, um, I, I would love personally Joe Alt to help out that offensive line, but I'm fine with Rob Medunze if if he falls to seven. Even if we go and get a Brock Bowers, I would love that as well. So I think we get we will have a good option at pick seven. We need to invest in that offensive line, get that offensive line going, get some more defensive studs, and I think the Titans team could be a sleeper team. Maybe not jumping straight up to winning. The, the AFC South, but a team that could definitely be competitive, hold its own somewhat. So I'm excited for this, man. I definitely like it. I am a fan of it. Um, but you guys, let me know what you guys think. Do you like this move for the Titans? Um, do you think Tony Pollard will be a good, um, I don't want to say complimentary back, but a good duo with um, Ty J Spears? I really, I really am a fan of Ty J Spears. Um, Tony Pollard, like I said, home run hitter. I think it'll work. I definitely think it'll work, especially with Brian Callahan, um, you know, drawing up the offense, figuring things out, and hopefully just getting us out of that same mundane offense that we've ran in Tennessee for years. So um, I'm excited for everything, man. But you guys let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. As usual, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please do me a favor. Go ahead and leave this video a like. It helps me out a lot. I'm going to be dropping probably a few more of these because 
some of these free agent moves I definitely want to talk about. But this is the first one I wanted to talk about was my Titans making a move here, man. So let me know what y'all think, man. It's D. Lloyd. I'm see y'all next time. Peace.